every year lohor disappears under a blanket of gray a toxic fog that burns your eyes clogs your lungs and makes breathing feel like a challenge but have you ever wondered who's really behind the smog is it nature or lahorian themselves Hello everyone. Today, your journey is breaking down how the Lahorians are actually causing the smog every single day. So, before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit and hit that bell icon because we're exposing Lahore's choking sky. Smog is a mixture of smoke and fog, specifically tiny airborne pollutants like nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, and particulate matter that combine with moisture in the air. When sunlight reacts with these pollutants. it forms ground level ozone creating that hazy poisonous cloud we call smog these particles called pm2.5 are so tiny they can slip deep into your lungs even into your blood stream the result respiratory issues headaches eye irritation and for some much worse now here is the hard truth and the lahorians are causing most of it themselves first vehicle emissions lahore's roads are flooded with cars motor bikes and rickshaws many without proper maintenance or catalytic converters outdated engines release black carbon nitrogen oxides and unburn hydrocarbons directly into the air next factories many industries around lahore still burn low grade furnace oil and coal brick kilns Mm, especially the older ones release thick smoke loaded with soot and sulfur and then there's stubble burning farmers in punjab and the cross the border in india burn leftover rice straw after harvest season that smoke drifts right into lahore skies mixing with local emissions to create a deadly soup of pollutants lastly open trash burning from small roadside fires to entire heaps of plastic being burned this habit adds ton of harmful chemicals into the air every day but the smog isn't just a lahore problem it's a regional one the air doesn't care about borders farmers in both punjab regions pakistani and indian burn crop residue every year around the same time winds push that smoke across the border this makes it a geopolitical issue to without coordinated policies or data sharing between the two countries it's hard to fight fight a crisis that literally floats across the fence the good news 
it's not hopeless switching to cleaner fuels and electric vehicles modernizing brick kilns with zigzag technology check enforcement of emission laws encouraging farmers to recycle sable instead of burning it and yes public awareness because real change starts when we stop pretending it's someone else's problem lahore is in just a city it's home and right now it's gasping for air whenever we rev an old engine burn trash or ignore the haze we're adding to the problem but if we act together maybe just maybe we can help lahore breathe again don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel with others speak up don't let lahore choke bye bye